What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you 9 awesome features that you can do on iOS 11. Let's get started. Okay, so back in iOS 9, it was rumored that Apple actually made a one-handed keyboard that was hidden in iOS that just wasn't able to be activated. So, it turns out, Apple actually made that feature available to the public in iOS 11, and it looks exactly how it's been rumored for the past two years. So if you hold down the globe on the keyboard, you'll get two options for the left side and the right side. So this looks really cool, and I've actually tried this, and this is very handy, I guess you could say, no pun intended. So this next one, I actually discovered on accident. I was trying to do a folder glitch where you could put one inside of the other, but it didn't work because I held down the folder and I started tapping on apps, but it turns out you can drag multiple apps to the other page of the home screen on your iOS device. So this is very useful for me because I constantly like to change the layout of my home screen and now I can just tap on 15 different apps and drag them over to the next page with no worries at all. This next one is inside of settings, so what you want to do is go to general, scroll down until you see shut down, and Apple actually added a new feature that you can shut down your iDevice inside of settings. I'm guessing this is useful if you have a broken power button, so yeah, that's always welcome to iOS. Now this next one is back in settings again, what you want to do is go to general, accessibilities, go ahead and tap on display accommodations, and turn on smart invert colors. Now I mentioned this in my last video, but there's more I need to say about it, this is basically the dark mode of iOS, so it only will make the background invert colors, but pictures and text and stuff like that will stay the same. Although, people thought this video was fake because parts of iOS were still not properly in dark mode, they were still invert colors, so Apple still needs to fix this, this is sort of like a last minute thing, and obviously developers do need to put support in their apps for this new dark mode, as you can tell right here, but yeah, right when iOS 11 will be officially released, this will definitely be a full on night mode or dark mode, however you want to call it. Next up is in the control center. So Apple actually gave us a bunch of new toggles that are really cool. So I'm going to show you how to add your own custom toggles to the iOS 11 control center. So what you want to do is go to control center settings and then you can actually drag around apps so you can choose the order of the control center toggles and you can add really cool toggles inside of settings and you can change the order like I said and then all you have to do is swipe back up and you can see you can add low power mode, guided access, even a screen recorder which I have a video on if you want to go check that out. But yeah, very cool. Now this next one is in settings. If you go to iPhone storage, this one is like my favorite. So let's just say you're going on vacation and you need like a little bit of more storage so you can take photos. What this app will do inside of settings is it will allow you to save the data on any app but actually delete the app. So you'll delete the app but you can still save the data so that way when you reinstall it later you won't have to restart from scratch. So this is really cool and I really love this feature. So good job Apple on this one, awesome job. So this next feature is really cool. If you swipe up on a photo that's live, you get new effects. You can do like a loop, you can do a really cool bounce effect. Every time I do it on my phone though, it crashes, so you'll have to try that out for yourself. But here, there are more options. When you go to customize a photo or edit it inside of iOS, you're usually allowed to draw on the app, but Apple actually added a feature where you can choose the size of the lines you draw and the types of markers you can use. So I really like this feature. You can even erase stuff very simply. And there's even like a sketching tool or like you can outline stuff. I really like it. And you can use a stencil to draw shapes. So they've really done a great job on this photo editing app inside of the iPhone. So usually in order to read a QR code, you need a separate app in order to do so. Well, Apple actually added a really cool feature inside of the camera app on their iPhone. So you can actually access this through the control center or wherever the camera app is on your iPhone. So I'm just going to tap on the camera app and there's no effort required. All you have to do is just scan the code and then you'll get a notification on your iPhone that second. You can go ahead and tap on it and view the link. So this is really cool, very handy. And that's really about it for today. I got a bunch of really cool videos coming out on iOS 11 still and other videos that I really think you guys will enjoy. If you recommend any videos, please let me know. I'm always looking to improve my channel. That'll be about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, peace.